in last class we discussed about molecules now today we'll discuss about molecules of element and molecules of compounds so in last class i gave you some example of molecules like if i say o2 then that is a molecule of an element because here two atoms of oxygen are getting combined to form one molecule of what one molecule of oxygen so in this uh, molecule no other uh, no other atom is involved only oxygen atom is present so that is why this will be molecules of elements similarly if i write n2 then this is a molecule of nitrogen so one single type of atoms are combined what uh, the atoms that is of uh, which element that is of nitrogen so this will be molecules of element so here another thing you will see that if three atoms of oxygen are getting combined suppose when we say o2 that means two atoms of oxygen are getting combined so this will be oxygen only okay but if three atoms of oxygen is getting combined then we get ozone this is called ozone okay now a very important thing that you have to know from this uh, part is the atomicity this one atomicity what is atomicity it is the number of atoms constituting a molecule is called atomicity suppose if i say what is the atomicity of ozone that is 3 because three atoms are getting combined to form ozone if i say what is the atomicity of n2 two because here two atoms are getting combined okay now let us uh, move to the next topic about this table in last class i told you that uh, you can uh, remember the table to know the ratio of different elements present in a compound okay now uh, molecule of element we discussed then molecule of compound suppose if i say h2o that is a molecule in this molecule what are the different types of atoms present two hydrogen atom one oxygen atom that means both the atoms are not of same type that is why this will be a molecule but the, this will be a molecule of a compound but in the previous examples that we discussed about o2 and n2 that is a molecules of elements because similar type of atoms are there okay so i think it is clear next <coughs> we'll move to next uh, very important topic that is ions now ions means what it is these are some charged particles it is given here that the charged species are known as ions an ion is a charged particle charged particle and can it can be negatively charged or positively charged if the ion is negatively charged then it is called anion if the ion is positively charged then it is called cation okay now how ions get the, their charges so for that i'll give you one example suppose suppose <coughs> here i'm drawing one atom like this the center of an atom that is called the nucleus okay this will be completely filled but right now i am not uh, able to fill it completely so you assume that this part is completely filled this is called the nucleus of an atom where we get the total positive charge present in it so for uh, just uh, for time being i'm taking that the total positive charge present in the nucleus is plus 5 suppose then these are called shells or orbits electrons also remain in an atom these electrons they reside on this specific shells suppose in this shell we have one electron here one electron here two electrons next shell suppose we have three electrons one here here and here suppose how many electrons we have now five electrons and each electron is giving us one negative charge so how many negative charge we have here five negative charge so negative charge is minus 5 positive charge how much was that plus 5 so what is the total charge plus 5 minus 5 that gives us zero so that means the total charge of an atom is always zero 
instead of 5 in other atom there will be other charges but remember that if this charge is suppose plus 8 then negative charge will always be minus 8 if this charge is plus 10 negative charge will be minus 10 so that the total charge the sum of total charge will be 0 ok now ion <coughs> we said that ion is a, neg is a charged species suppose from this particular atom if this electron is somehow taken out withdrawn so how many electron we have now four electron what will happen to this charge now now this will be minus four what is the total charge now if you add plus five minus four that will give us plus one so that means as soon as the electron goes out the atoms becomes positively charged how much positive charge it is getting plus one but initially it was a neutral thing so when it was a neutral thing that was an atom when it gets the charge it becomes an ion what ion is that we got the positive ion as we already know ions are of two types it may be positive in other case suppose instead of withdrawing this electron if another electron is introduced in it initially how many electrons we had five now one more is introduced instead of uh, taking it out so how, ma how many electrons we'll have now six so this will be this charge will be minus six now what will be the total charge of atom minus six plus five it gives us minus one so now the atom will be negatively charged and this will become a negative ion so I think it is clear remember that when electrons are taken out from the atom the atom becomes positive ion when electrons are introduced in the atom the atom become negative ion so in this way we get ions from different atoms all right so you can see here some examples of ions are given and this table you have to learn this table see sodium na plus na plus means it is positive ion so if it is positive ion electron is introduced or electron is re uh, removed positive so positive means electron is removed from it from sodium atom how many electrons are removed since only one positive charge is there that means one electron is removed now if i say magnesium magnesium mg2 plus 2 plus so plus only but 2 that means how many electrons are removed from it two electrons are removed similarly like uh, okay bromide ion one negative charge so negative means electron electron is introduced how many electrons are introduced one electron one negative charge another is there uh, suppose this one sulfide s2 minus 2 minus so how many electrons are introduced two electrons that is why it is 2 minus here it is 3 minus so how many electrons are introduced 3 electrons so in that way we can understand ok so these are the examples of ions simple ion these are the examples of a specific type of ion we call it polyatomic ion polyatomic that means more than one atom are present in these ions because see here here like Na plus only one sodium atom we considered and then from this sodium atom one electron is removed so it becomes sodium plus here we considered one atom of magnesium then we remove two electron from this it becomes Mg2 plus one atom were there in this case as well as in this negative case also but in this case in this particular case here you can see NH4 plus N is nitrogen atom H4 4 hydrogen atom and then it is minus so that means it is not only one atom but it is a group of atoms which is charged so these are called polyatomic ions ok so polyatomic ion the definition is here a group of atoms carrying charge is known as polyatomic ion ok you can uh, see the definition from here and the examples of polyatomic ions these are the examples of polyatomic ions some are positively charged ions see this one some polyatomic ions are negatively charged this one this one ok so I hope it is clear but this table you have to remember 
uh, how to write the symbols of ion what are the charges of these ions because these things will be required to uh, write chemical formula of different compounds so in next class i will discuss about how to write the chemical formula of different compounds and your work is to go through up to this table up to this table from the beginning okay after that if you have any doubt you can tell me but this is your homework from the beginning of this chapter till this table you will learn and tomorrow i will discuss how to write chemical formula and within by tomorrow if you have any doubt regarding the previous topics you will tell me okay thank you